All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to do my daily Bitcoin and Bitcoin miner update. So we cover Bitcoin and the Bitcoin miners quite a bit on this channel. So if that's content that you enjoy, do us a favor and please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this video, please smash the like button. So let's get right into it and take a look at the big board of miners. So if you look at the board, you're going to see it is very, very green with two exceptions. And even both of those are getting close to back to zero. And they were much lower than that earlier. If you look at the bigger companies near the top of the board, you'll see Bitfarms up seven and a half percent, CleanSpark up five percent, Hut up seven percent, Hive almost six percent, a very up day for most of the big miners. Stock ticker C-O-R-Z is red today, and that is Core Scientific. And, and today is the first day it's trading under this stock ticker. Core Scientific went public via a SPAC, and that took place today. So they're down just a little bit on the day, down 0.63%. And for whatever reason, Wolf is down 0.5%. Other than that, we're having a green board. And, and actually, earlier in the day, these numbers were much higher. Most of these miners were up 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11 percent a few hours ago. So we've had a little bit of a pullback. Let's hope it holds. Like I said, there's a couple hours of trading left. So let's hope it holds and maybe even moves back in the right direction. So I just want to note while we're looking at the big board that three of those stocks I hold in our 10K to 100K challenge. So if you're interested in finding out which those are, I do an update video every Saturday on how the challenge is going and what the portfolio looks like. For those of you that watch the channel, you know I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. So for those of you who don't, you can check out in the pinned comment, there's a link to our Discord and you can learn more about the challenge there as well as watch some of the videos. Okay, so let's get to the chart. So we're looking at the chart on the 30 minute level. So each one of these candles represents 30 minutes. So this is a very close up look. So we had a very big rally. You'll see a lot of green candles and we got we got up to about forty three thousand five hundred dollars we started at around forty two thousand so this was a fifteen hundred dollar increase in a fairly short period of time for bitcoin now it was followed by a slight pullback and that's why our bitcoin miners are now up more like five six seven percent instead of eight nine ten eleven percent i was hoping this was just a little pullback during the lunch hour and we could pick up the momentum because you'll see these green candles we're on nice volume down here. So we've had lower volume as these red candles have occurred. So I'm hoping we can find a spot, turn around and head back up. But we'll have to see. Again, we got a couple hours left in the trading day. So let's take a look at a few important lines and see what Bitcoin needs to do today to try and set itself up to start moving in the right direction. Okay, so I've, I've zoomed out a little bit. This is Bitcoin on the two hour chart. So we can see a little bit more. So this yellow line, this was close on last Friday. So it's now Thursday of the next week. It took all the way today until the open to get back to where we were on Friday, but we did cross above that. It would be nice to hold above that. You can see at the moment, we have a red candle wick that's heading down. 43,000 psychologically would be an important number. So if we could close above 43,000 on the day, I think that would be very positive. We haven't done that in a few days. Really, we haven't done that any day this week so far. But really what I'm hoping to do is, and again, we do seem to be moving in the wrong direction at the moment. What we really need to do is take this, this line out right here. And that's at about 43,600. And the reason we want to do that is we want to start getting a higher high. So this was the previous high. So you can see from this point, we have a descending channel all the way down to here. And now we're on the move up. The first step on getting back towards a bull market is to set a higher high. So I'd like to take this thing out here, you know, and it doesn't have to be today, but sometime in the next 24 hours, it would be nice to close above this 43.6 and it would be nice to comfortably close above it. So I'm really saying 44,000. So the first, the first benchmark is it, it would be nice to close above 43,000. And then I think it would be a very relevant signal if we could then close above 44,000. Okay, I've moved out to the four hour time frame now, and now we're looking at basically the last half of December and all of January. So this gives a little bit better perspective on what I'm talking about. But we bottomed out here at around January 10th. So what I'm looking for is some stair steps here. We set the low here, we got a high here, we had a higher low here. And so if we could get a higher high next, 
that would really start to trend us in the right direction. This is a line I've drawn. This is where I'd like to get to. So this is somewhere around the $45,700 mark. That would be a very clear higher high. Okay, so we'll have to see how the rest of the day plays out. With that said, let's take a look at a few Bitcoin miners in specific. Okay, the first one I want to look at is CleanSpark. And I've done something a little bit different here. What I've done is chart this against Bitcoin. So this orange line that you'll see on this chart is Bitcoin's progress. This starts somewhere in the middle of July of 2021. So this is a six or seven month trend line for Bitcoin versus CleanSpark. So you'll see they were converging around this date. So that made sense. Since then... They've had three periods where there's been a divergence. And I, and I want to show you just how bad it's gotten right now. So in September, there was about a 67% difference between where CleanSpark was trading and where it should be trading if it was mirroring Bitcoin exactly. In November, when Bitcoin was reaching its high, CleanSpark was about 28% behind the progress of Bitcoin. So, you know, still a gap, but not too bad. Now, I want to show you what's happened over the last three months because it's dramatic. From where we're trading today to where Bitcoin is trading today, CleanSpark would now need to have a 163% movement in the upward direction in its stock price just to get back to matching the performance of Bitcoin. So this is worse than most of the other miners by far. So for those of you who watch the channel, you know I'm a fan of CleanSpark. I think this is wildly, wildly oversold, and I think this is one way to look at it. I mean, this thing could be double, and it would still be trailing the performance of Bitcoin. So I think there's an awful lot of upside. Again, this is not financial advice. I am invested in CleanSpark. This is how I'm looking at it, but you guys got to do your own due diligence and decide what you want to do. Okay, the next one I want to look at is Marathon. Marathon right now is up 7% on the day today. So again, I want to measure to a few different points. So we're rallying today up around 7%. Marathon was under $25 yesterday, which is ridiculous. Marathon's line of support was closer to $31. So it's well below its longer term line of support here. Uh, which makes no sense to me at all. This is yet another example of how all the Bitcoin miners, in my opinion, are grossly oversold right now. So uh, everybody's probably feeling this pain, but there will be the other side of this when Bitcoin picks up its momentum, in my opinion. So the first thing I want to look at is if we go from where we are today to just back to December 27th, which is less than a month ago, more like three and a half weeks ago, that would be a 50% increase in the price of Marathon. And Marathon is trading right now under a $3 billion market cap. I think it's at $2.7 billion. Marathon, a few months ago, was at $7.5 billion market cap company. So it's possible it was a little bit overbought, and we'll talk about that in a second. But, you know, it's now been almost cut into a third. So there's just no sense in that in my mind. So again, I think we need to be patient and just wait for Bitcoin to get back on track. But again, this is not financial advice. You guys need to make your own buying decisions. Let's take a look at another number. If Marathon was to get back to where it was just before the flash crash, the flash crash for Bitcoin was on December 3rd. So if Marathon could get back to its December 1st price, that would be a 121% increase in the price of Marathon. So I believe these are reasonable 2022 targets. Marathon was just at this price a month and a half ago. So I don't think it's unreasonable to assume that it could get back there in the year 2022 or to points beyond. I will say Marathon ran up maybe to a point where it was overbought, which is pretty rare here for these Bitcoin miners. So... I'm not even going to measure up to this line. This was less than three months ago. Marathon was over $80. So, you know, not out of the question. But realistically, 121% increase is not bad at all. Okay, the next stock I want to look at is Greenage Generation, stock ticker GREE. -E. So Greenage is way, way, way off of its all-time high. But this is a little skewed. So you can see from its first day of trading back on September 15th till now... Greenage is down 75%, but that's not really fair. This was a very confusing merger. Greenage merged with support.com on September 15th. It was extremely confusing. Somewhere around $30 is what I'm considering as Greenage's real high. Having said that, it looks like Greenage has found its footing. 
on December 6th, it bottomed out somewhere in the $12.70 range. That has held ever since. In fact, it's never even gone back and retested that point, despite the fact that most of the other miners are below where they were at that point. Drainage has been pretty solid. You will see, obviously, like the rest of the miners, December and January have not been good. So there has been a pullback, but we but it never did get back to this line that it hit back on December 6th. I'm calling this a very solid line of support. That's how I measure my risk. We're at about $14.83, and there's a real strong line of support at $12.82. That doesn't mean it can't go lower. Obviously, you can always take out a line of support and continue lower. As I'm assessing risk-reward, that's what I'm looking at. Conversely, if Greenwich could just get back to where it was on December 23rd, which is approximately one month ago, that would represent a 46% increase in the price of Greenwich. So I think that's a fairly realistic goal sometime mid-second quarter for Greenwich, in my opinion. Then if Greenwich could get back to this 30 or $31 level, which you can see it tested this once, twice, three times. So I think this is a very legitimate number to consider. And that would represent a 103% increase in the price of that stock. Okay, I just want to finish zoomed in on the 30-minute chart because we've had a nice little reversal here. And again, this is only 30 minutes and, you know, there's still a bunch of time left in the trading day. But we are currently at 43,119. So if you remember, 43,000 is one of the numbers that I was hoping to close above by the end of the trading day today. So I'm hoping Bitcoin can hold these gains, close above 43,000 here at the end of today's trading day, you know, shoot to maybe take out 43,600, which is this blue line, maybe later today or tomorrow. But of course we have been very range bound. So, you know, anything is possible at this point, trying to predict what Bitcoin is gonna do in the next 24 hours is almost futile. Those are the benchmarks I'm looking at if it does those things, I think those would be positive signals and we would be moving in the right direction. So we'll close on a nice green candle and the board is very green. So I uh, hope it stays that way. Hope the day ends up that way. That's all I got for you, everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.